Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ecom Bulldog back to the channel. Sorry if I haven't been posting in a while. I promise to be posting consistently. You got my word on that. All right, Ecom Bulldog on Instagram. You can Google me, Ecom Bulldog. I definitely want to give you guys value in this video first. Uh, it's a great video, by the way, because I'm going to show you how you can get rid of a collection with the Credit Karma hack. This is uh, it's a beautiful hack. People are charging a lot of money for this hack, but I'm going to give you guys to you for free all that I ask. If you please like and share and comment on this page um, and subscribe. Um, like I said, I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of gems. How to remove this collection is uh, is good on TransUnion with Credit Karma. I'm going to give you guys a step-by-step -step play. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for what I got coming up next. Stay tuned for the rest of the video because at the end, I will be uh, dropping up um, a nice exclusive of what I'm going to give you guys on the next video. So stay tuned for that. All right, so basically, I'm going to show you how, one second, okay. hold on, you guys ready, all right. All right, so this is how to remove a collection from Credit Karma on TransUnion. All right, first things first, you wanna download Credit Karma, all right? It's free, it's easy, it takes five minutes, download um, Credit Karma, and um, so you can see your score. Now, keep this in mind, when you download Credit Karma, it's about 20 to 25 points off. So if you see like a 750, you're really like a 720, 715 actually, around there. So do not get so happy. It's a Vantage um, 3.0 score. Most people use FICO 8, FICO 9 to find out your FICO score. So Vantage score is just another system that some companies use to try to see your credit. But uh, for the most part, everyone's using FICO 8, FICO 9. But what I like about Credit Karma, it tells you how many inquiries you have on TransUnion, Equifax, how many derogatory marks you have, right? So it's good. Um, I'm not going to give you guys a lot of like, you know, BS. I'm just going to go straight into it so you guys can get value in this video. And like I said, all I ask is do you like and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate that. It'll definitely boost up the algorithm. And we're at 2,000 subscribers. So thank you very much for everyone that's liked and comment and um, start doing some uh, giveaways just to give you guys even more even more value. All right. So download Credit Karma. It's a Credit Karma hack, how to remove collections from um, TransUnion. All right. So there you go. Next step. I'm going to check your score. Okay. This hack is only for TransUnion. Only for TransUnion. Okay. You're going to click on TransUnion. Okay. This is going to pop up, okay? Click on TransUnion. And then this is how you're going to remove a collection, medical, or any type of collections, or derogatory marks. Under derogatory marks, you're going to click that. Okay, once you click derogatory marks, you're going to see a whole bunch of, uh, hopefully you don't have any, but you're going to see maybe two or three collections, all right? Now, um, I actually did this, I do it frequently, but I'm saying I did it with a buddy of mine. We're having pizza. Um, shout out to John. And uh, I did it right there. Um, he knows I've been obsessed with credit for the past year and a half. And uh, he's like, all right, man, you know, do it. And uh, I did it in front of him. And it was removed um, instantly, actually. Okay. His collection was like 245 bucks. It was nothing crazy. But it was removed from TransUnion. And uh, his points went up 35 points uh, the next day. Okay. 
So, like I said, this is 90% effective. I'm not going to say it's 100% effective. Everyone's credit's different. We know that. Okay. So, this will happen. Download Credit Karma. Boom. Under derogatory marks, you're going to click on collections and they're going to go dispute online. I know a lot of people say, well, it's not good to dispute online because you can't go to court, yada, yada, yada. But um, I mean, if you want to dispute it online, it's fine. I mean, if you get it removed, you get it removed. You know, I think a lot of people are just, they get too many information. They don't know where to go or what to act on. All right. When you click on dispute online, on the left side of the screen, it's going to show you, it says, I want you to click on, I do not own this account or know of this account. First of all, I want you to understand that when you get a collection, it's after 180 days, a company's like, look, this guy's not going to pay him or her. Let's just give it to a collection company, a third party, right? But technically, you don't have an agreement between you and that collection agency, right? They're representing the furniture, which was a company that um, sent them to collections, sent you to collections so they can handle um, that charge. So what they do is these collection companies, they buy the debt, maybe pennies on the dollar. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, I'm not saying that you do not owe this debt. However, we want to have a clean credit report so we can move on and focus on other things, right? Um, if a lot of people knew about these information about how their credit should be valued, um, there wouldn't be a lot of people paying high interest, getting to go on these car loans, going to Santander, you know, all these different things. Cause that was one of them. I was that credit one guy. And uh, yeah, so I do not own this account or know this account. So check it. Okay. On the right side, it will say, there's a whole bunch of options. I want you to click on the one that says other, see additional comments. Okay. Next one, I want you to copy and paste this, right? So this right here, is what I want you to copy and paste in where it says additional comments. Could you click other? And on the bottom, you're going to click this. Pursuant to 18 USC 8, I owe no debt. This company is violating my consumer right to privacy pursuant to 15 USC 1681B2. Company has also no permission to report anything using my info pursuant to 15 USC 1681 you're going to copy this and you're going to paste it and then you're going to just click the box and submit. Okay. I've seen it work instantly and I've seen it work takes about seven to 14 days, 90% effective. If it doesn't work, don't worry about it guys. Okay. Just there's other ways to remove it. I will post it on the next video, how to remove it. If you, if this hack does not work, All right. Uh, when it comes to credit, we have the right to dispute anything as many times as we want. All right, um, these companies are violating our rights and we as consumers have the chance and we have the right to dispute anything. All right, do me a favor guys, like and comment. Please share this video with people who value you, all right? Think, think of that, like if you really value someone, you're gonna share this information with them. If you don't, don't share it with them. It'd be a waste of your time, all right? So real quick, just a rundown, download Credit Karma, check your score. This hack is only for TransUnion. Remove a collection, medical, or any type of collection, derogatory mark, boom. Dispute online, first left side, do not own this hack, this account, or no this account. Right side, other, see additional comments, and this is what you're going to write. So you can actually take a picture with your phone, boom. If you want to tag me on Instagram, Econ Bulldog, I'll definitely uh, love that. You know, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will post. If I get more subscribers from this video, I will keep on posting other hacks, other videos uh, going forward. All right, guys. Um, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. Like I said, Econ Bulldog, I love doing these videos. I know they're not the well best edited, but the information in here is valuable. I feel I take the time. I learn. I pay for these rooms, and I want to share it with you guys, you know, just let, uh, all I ask for is a like, comment, a subscribe, and I appreciate you guys so much. Um, anything else, like I said, DM me. Um, if you want this and you really watch this video, like I said, DM me or DM Brands Ave, B-R-A-N-D-Z, 
underscore avenue. And if you show proof that you subscribe, I'll send you this text free. It's right here, but I'll give it to you. All right, guys. Also, what you guys can do to start making more money, all these hacks that I give on YouTube, you can make your own ebook. You know, I could talk about that in the next video, but if you put all these hacks on a piece of paper, boom, 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 this is how you do this hack, this is how you do the Apple Play, this is how you do the Saks Fifth Avenue Play, this is how you do that. You combine your own ebook and then you can sell that for at least a hundred bucks because there's so much valuable information. You took the time of making a nice cover, you know, a lot of things. So, like I said, appreciate you guys for following me. Econ Bulldog out.